Hello and welcome to another episode of Always Sometimes Monsters. In the last episode we walked around and did hard work so we could afford a bus pass and now we have to wait for evening to set. And by evening to set, I guess I just have to do something or other. I don't know, take a nap? Just sleep the day away? Sure, we'll try that. The evening, it said. Take a nap. Later that day. And is it evening? Take a nap. Well, is that evening or is that afternoon? I'm gonna go check the bus real quick. Yeah, this looks like an evening sort of dusk look to the town. Hopefully, that's what it is. Eh. Buses! Every- oh my goodness. Can I just wait here? Nope. Alright, let's go. Back to sleep. Stop humming, Andrew! Brr. Broken window again. I have not seen Larry or Belinda. Where are they? Ugh, they don't even live in their house, do they? Not everyone's gonna be a bum sleeping on a couch all day, Andar. Some people have to work. She will shut up in her conscience, you don't know. Belinda and Larry can be being lazy right now somewhere else. Doesn't mean they have to be in their house to be lazy. I mean, why is Larry losing his job? Because g Rug Squiggly doesn't know how to write. Ah! I guess. You got you got G-Rug there. What does that have to do with me? You're playing as him. Oh. I, I guess, but, you know, he, he made decisions before. It, yeah, it was your decision. Stop trying to avoid responsibility, Andrew. You're right, but th 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 the story needed G-Rug to be in this dire position for me to resurrect him. Andrew, what are you doing? You're resolving yourself in responsibility. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. Yes, you should. Leave town. Another episode of not driving on the road. Why not just call it Salt Lake City? Come on. So close. Beep beep. And we get to find out what exciting adventures await us over here. Oh, San Fernando's. Just so close. Tell me how to get to Jubilee Trailer Park. I think that's the place. Huh? You're looking for old Markin sauce, right? G Rex Squiggly, isn't it? Uh, yeah? How do you know that exactly? It's a small town everyone knows here. Morrow's Mark pretty well told me to keep an eye out for you in case you stop by and tell you where to go. This place is just on the other side of the overpass. You should find it, no problem. Alright, thanks. Before I arrive in this city, Salt of the Earth. I am going to deposit money. I don't want to get robbed. Uh, deposit 100. $72. Wait, what? Zero. Made a dumb. Okay, there we go. Now on with the adventure. After napping for a whole day, G. Reg Squiggly finally makes his way to Salt City, which is daytime. How am I supposed to? Okay then. Why the chicken cross the road kind of thing going on here? Okay, a bunch of chickens everywhere. Freedom coverage. Oh, probably gun store, I imagine. Nope, just a convenience store. Freedom's coverage. Oh, convenience. Another... Guys, I can't read, okay? I have eye problems. Leave me alone. So, just over here, he said, I thought. 
trailer park. The big dog. Oh. Ah! Seven on their property. Uh, I'm pretty sure I got the wood yesterday, you forgetful old fart. Besides, they're my eggs, so if you want to eat them, you better bring me that wood. Your eggs, it's my bacon. What's the point of the bacon without the eggs? Forget that, what's the point of eggs without the bacon? Uh, what are you doing? You there. Yeah, you young fella. Well, yes, actually. I'm graphing, this is a cold born. Trying to get a fire started so we can cook breakfast. Egghead over there seemed to think that I should get the firewood. Yeah, and Pig Breath wants me to do his job for him. Bruh, would you kindly tell this old cook that breakfast ain't breakfast without bacon? Then he'll get off his big butt and get to the wood. Or, if you'd rather be honest, let the senile bat know breakfast needs eggs, smarten him up so he'll do his job for a change. You're asking me whether eggs or bacon are more crucial to breakfast. I'll get the wood. <laughs> huh? Well, I guess that solves our problem. Yeah, no more need to argue, I guess. We, we should have had some grandkids for this sort of stuff, you know. Uh, you said it, buddy. Uh, it's right there. Alright, I'm going to avoid them now. Markin' Sauce, you there? Knock. Nope. Ah! G Rig Squiggly. Thank the Lord, here you are in the flesh. Heck, you're all grown up and everything, too. Well, don't just stand there, baby boy. Come give old Mark the Toss a hug. Hug Mark. Aw, wah. -ha. Just do as he says, G Rag. Don't worry about it. It's a bit small, but I tell you, it's got everything a man needs. Kitchen's a little bare, but if you need to fix yourself something, by all means, my bed's down by the next to the bookshelf. That's Trinity behind you, blowing bubbles. Fish? Feel like feeding her, I'm sure she won't mind. And this is where you'll be staying here on the couch. Good. I have to sleep on the streets. It ain't a pullout, but it's not too bad in terms of comfort. Just don't let Trinity keep you up at night. She likes to babble at night sometimes. Yeah. Go grab a seat on the couch. I want to show you something. This is my old football tape. Look how good I was back in my prime. Gotta say, it looks a lot bigger on the inside. Thanks for... <laughs> Gee, Reg. Heck, it's no problem at all, baby boy. Don't even mention it. It's the least I can do. Huh? Ah, uh, here we go. I don't even see a TV anywhere. Here, take a look at this. Oh, it's a photo. I thought it was video... No, that shelf looked like videotapes. That's a photo of us 20-something years ago. <laughs> You're the cutest kid, I tell you, but I don't blame you if you don't remember. We didn't get to spend all that much time together after the early years. Well, that's definitely me in the photo, and more of those overalls through half of elementary school. Turns out he's his father. What happened, though? Oh, sorry. What happened, though? How come nobody ever mentioned you? I can't blame him, considering how I used to be. Back then, it probably wasn't the best influence to begin with, but then I got into some real trouble. Got arrested on DUI and got extra time for assaulting the officer. It's my big shame and my burden to bear, but you try to make amends for your errors. Still, it was all part of the big plan, you know? Turned me and sent me straight, helped me find the big man in the sky. Speaking of which, I got some work to do up at the church and I'm almost late. You're welcome to come along if you like, but feel free to check out the town if you prefer. I'm sure you can find something interesting to do if you look. Oh, and please keep the photo. It'd mean a lot to me. Alright, if I don't see- oh. Door's always open, so come in and go as you please. See you later, baby boy. Now, let's go take his invite to the church. Running out of time, G-Rag. You gotta get out of here. And let us... 
see how much it takes. Well, he's gonna drive us there, so that's why I want to go to the church, wherever that is. So we don't have to buy an outrageously expensive bus ticket. That would be unfortunate. Well, we're already here, since we didn't find the church. Oh. Alright then. I guess you have to help him. Alright, I don't see a church unless it's out by this fence here. Chickens. Garbage. Mechanics. Big parking lot and a... That's not a church. <sighs> game, don't... What are you doing, game? What are you doing? This is the church. There we go. Maybe. I don't see Mark in here. Smart thinking, G-Reg. Thank you for coming out. Aw, is that Mark? On such short notice, ladies and gentlemen. God bless you, each and every one, for joining this unusual sunny afternoon. Considering it's supposed to be nighttime, I know many of you would rather be out having fun or spending time with your families. I have a very special sermon for all today. You see, recently I've been very blessed indeed, and I want to share it with you. Those of you who know me a long time ago, before my life of God, drugs and alcohol, an ill temper. I was so shrouded in darkness, so helplessly submerged in my own wretched life, that I was blinded by darkness. I was so shrouded in darkness that I was blinded in darkness. Okay. In that darkness, I couldn't see a future, because you were blind. In that darkness, I couldn't see a hope. Blind. Worst of all, though, was that in the darkness, I could not see the one true glimmer of light that exists in my life. So blinded by the darkness, that the one true glimmer of light that had existed... It vanished from my sight. Since then, I've spent so many years learning faith and praying for its return. At times, I felt foolish for hoping it would come back to me, hoping I could see the light once more. As my doubt would grow, I would feel so hopeless and scared and alone. I began to believe that the light would never return, extinguished forever in the ignorance of my youth. But this light, it is not a candle. It may dim, but it can never die. Through that darkness, the light has followed me here today. Through unimaginable hardship and suffering, it has walked through every one of my missteps. That road has not been easy, but the goodness of life will always catch up to you if you let it. For those of you who don't believe me right now, who are still amidst that shadow of darkness, I hope you understand what I'm saying. Whatever demons you are facing, you can rid yourself of them, I know this. Just never turn your back on the light in your life. Welcome it into your home with open arms, no matter what sacrifice it asks of you. Be willing to make amends to purge yourself of your past, and accept that only through serving the light can we live in this world. Okay, good sermon. Okay, yep. Get tired. Alright. <sighs> Open it. No, it couldn't, G-Reg. It's already bookmarked, how about that? Oh, Mark. Nice and loud, if you will. And I have caused the blind to go in a way they have not known, and paths they have not known, and caused them to tre tread. I make a dark place before them, becoming light, and unleveled places become plain. These are the things I have done to them, and I have not forsaken them. Prayer for today, thank you for coming. I'll be here for the next few hours if you need anything, don't forget. Jerome's coming. We have the collection plate, so if you're feeling generous, please give. I don't have much to give. There's the collection plate though. No? Okay then. Go up here, talk straight to him. Pastor, actually.
Hmm. Yeah, I got here just before it all started. It was great. It was interesting. It was all, it was fine. Sure, we'll make him really happy. Yeah, music to his ears. I was on his mind when he wrote it, you know. Because he's your father, G-Reg. Having you visit now, well, it's filling me with real hope for the future. I don't know what to say. No need to say anything. Son. <laughs> when was the last time you did a proper confession? You've come a long way, and there's bound to be at least a few things weighing on your mind? Oh, I don't know. Pretty recently, I don't know what happened long ago. Oh, that wasn't what my sins were. So I just lied to him. So I don't get to do a confession? Aw, that would have been fun. Alright. San Fernando. I'm no dummy. I know why it's important to you, and it's not my place to question anything. All I know is that I have confessed my wrongs to the world, and you are second chance. There's nothing too great to ask of me, Rick Swilly, but I need to know you walk with God as well. Sh sure. To God. Just step in the booth and talk. The voice of the Lord will answer. Come on, G-Reg. Sounds fun. Ah. You still need him to get San Fernando. So let's confess. Uh, forgive me? There, that's a good idea. So what have you come to confess? A troubled drug addict. I judged him. I did judge him. I don't think I enabled him. I mean, G-Reg did, but that was out of my and ours control. I was very judgmental, though. G-Reg's just loose cannon. Can't count on what he's gonna do. Hmm. Yeah, sure, why not? I was supposed to... Protect truth, I wrote with bias, I let corruption win. Oh, sure. I guess that's close to the truth, but I was trying to be biased as pos as unbiased as possible. We're making it big together one day. Worked hard together, relied on each other, and needed one another. I abandoned him. Yay! <laughs> Absolved from guilt. Goodbye. Goodbye, God. It's getting late. Should probably go to bed. I'm gonna keep this episode short because it's going off right after the second one. Or the last one I did, anyway. Do you want to donate any money to the Luxon Plate? Trying to raise enough funds to keep our child welfare program going? Sure. The privileged kids in my school afford books, food, clothes, and stuff. Now we're trying to raise another 50 bucks so we can keep it running. Yeah. You know what? Sure. How much am I gonna donate? I'm feeling... I'm feeling pretty generous. Oh, $950. Well, I only got 20. Ah, I can only do what I can. Oh, okay then. I can just 
Man, this church needs an ATM then. So, head out the door. Sprint across the road. No, can't do that. It has to have this artificial barrier. Oh, not the gas station. The big dog. Probably gonna have to... Oh, I think... Maybe, hopefully he has food. Is he asleep? Face down? That's an awkward sleeping position. To be sure. No, can't... Can't eat anything. Mmm. That's a fish. Oh. Anyway. I need food. And there's no reason... That I can't help those cool those kids, the cool kids. So I'm gonna do that. Andar is a very charitable charitable man. I love chariots. <laughs> Charity and chariots, two completely different things. One is extreme decadence, the other is not. Deposit. Uh, withdraw. Hmm. Well, yeah, I do need money. Well, they need 30 bucks, so I'll bring it up to 50 because I need to get some food. Let's see what this place has to eat. Uh. Crusty cream. Again, check the stocks. Leave. I think the highest I purchased at was 26. I would make six dollars profit if I sold two of them. Hey there. No, no coffee. No. Ah. Waste of money. Guess I'll drink it though. <sighs> Nothing. Okay then. What's the prize? Oh, oh my goodness. I don't want to know this. I want to get food. And something else. Bye. Sandwiches didn't feed me the last time. I'll get the DMC, Krusty Kreme's famous dirty mackerel and cheese sandwich. Mm, try one. That didn't help all that much. Probably just need to take more out from the bank. How did I go all the way to the bus station to get out money? Thoughts that will haunt me. Withdraw. Another 30 bucks, why not? Something else. Oh. Like two of these. That's right. Outrageously expensive. $24 for that meal. No, actually, it wasn't because I had three. Oh, now I feel worse. So we'll pay him up here. And they'll be able to get their school books. What? Oh, okay, I guess I can't. What if I could, man, but you locked the doors. <sighs> oh, he's asleep. Gotta sleep on the couch. Sleep. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? Now that your mind is at ease. After the confession. And call it back into the college dorm. How about that? Just a little bit more and it's over. No sense quitting now. Uh Uh, 
Alright, can I... Can't press escape here. Huh, well that's unfortunate. Well, either way, I'm going to... What's this doing here? Oh, hello. Gray, the webcomic. Okay. Keep looking. Uh, you mean this pencil right here? On his desk? Right there. Sheeple. Big woman, big business. Keep searching. Uh, probably the garbage. Where you find everything in this game. Why does he not want me to have his pencils? The Nintendo Pocket Pal. Keep searching. Maybe he jammed it into the dartboard. Oh. Okay then. Music. I say so. Alright, let's drop this off downstairs in McAllister's office. Where we'll have a long, drawn-out conversation, I'm sure. Still can't press escape. So I'm going to end this... No. I have to get out into the main world and see if... This is, a uh, teacher hall. I want to end this episode and go do stuff. I got people over. Time to see if I can convince him to fork over a little extra credit. Guess he's not here after all. Oh no, I'm going to uncover something. Uh. Again. Man, it's going to look like you're robbing stuff and you're going to get kicked out. Open the door. Oh no! Exactly what I had suspected. Ah. <sighs> Ew, that's a disgusting sound. Well, hi there. Ah, <sighs> brother, brother, brother. You're the one with the keys, though. Oh no, he's gonna be angry at me. I guess so. You guess so or you know so? This is the biggest piece of garbage I've ever seen. He says. Alright. Well then. Oh, oh, nice, thank you. At least a 90. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Something troubling me about it, though. You share a dorm together, right? Yeah, just the end of the hall. Why do you ask? Because I've read Sam's essays already, and now that I've read yours, I can't help but notice the similarities. In fact, they're almost identical when you compare them side by side. Oh no. I'm suggesting that they're uncannily similar. I'm more than a little disappointed, G-Reg. If you fess up to it now, I'll give you to the end of the night to write another one. If not, I'm gonna have to fail you out of the class. I didn't copy, though. Well, where is he, then? He's down at the bluffs on a date, comet watching or something. With L. She mentioned she was bringing someone with her tonight, but I didn't think it was a date. Alright then, you go down there and tell him to come see me immediately. If Sam's willing to agree your paper wasn't copied, then I'll have to reconsider the charges. But I hope you're not wasting my time here, G-Reg Squigs. I didn't copy that paster. I saw G-Reg fade to black and... indicating that he did it. 
<sighs> Look at her. L. Stupid hunk of junk. Bah, hey, is everything alright over there? I'm sorry, what did you say? Uh, I was just asking her if everything was alright. You seem frustrated, so. This is the old telescope of mine. It's, it's the job done. I can't tell how nice it would be to get a chance to work with real equipment. This is so expensive. You won't believe me if I told you how pricey the real deal is. Yeah, but would you ever really be satisfied just using the plus oh, no, I mean, you said it yourself, right? But you'll never be able to own it. What do you... Downer. The sky's pretty clear, but not clear. It's raining, L. Open your eyes. Your telescope might work better, too. Uh, that's not the worst thing. I mean, at least we're out here on the stars together. It's got a conference, all right? Love. Yeah, thanks for coming again, by the way. Nobody ever shows much interest in what I do, so I appreciate it. Whew. Bird our bird our burr. Uh, could you back up a little there? Need some room to calibrate. Oh no, I don't like what's going on. Yeah, right? <sighs> I don't like what's going on here. And here I come. I'll talk to Sam first. Hey, Sam. What are you doing here? That's what I came to talk to you about. I finished your early and handed in, but Professor McAllister is accusing me of cheating. Saying I copied your work. That my whole paper's plagiarized. What? You can't be serious, can you? I mean, we were to get... Oh, he can't have plagiarized me because he finished before me, so that's true. Can't honestly believe you'd steal from me. You wouldn't steal from me, right? No, of course not. That whole thing myself, I know that is a fact. Maybe we shared a few ideas or whatever, but that's only because we're so close. So he'll at least give me a chance for reconsideration if you go talk to him. You gotta help me out, Sam. I can't afford to fail. No, you weren't. <laughs> no, she doesn't. <sighs> I need you. Uh, that does mess up our plans pretty significantly. I'm just stress. Uh, I mean, fix everything. Bro, <laughs> yep, sure. Alright, I'll spend some time with her. Oh, I get to watch the comet with L. He's gonna be upset. Okay, I can move. Still can't press escape, but we'll have this moment. Yeah, I got it done, but there were some complications. Yeah, I guess. Aw oh, man, I'm gonna find him later in life. He's gonna be so... Ah, uh, it's gonna be sad. Interesting. You have a really unique outlook on life. Thanks. Love. Alright, let's see if I can't get this thing working properly. And then G-Rug's like, is that a new T-51B Telescope Supreme? And I was like, yeah, it is. Ah, oh, wow. Huh? Aww. So are you. Uh, I like that moon. It's not come on too strong. Almost nothing. I'm glad to be here. It was supposed to happen. Like, designers were orchestrating events so that we had to be. Or do designers organize our lives to make us in some sort of video game? I know. Aww. Aww. Wow. Yeah, 
I felt it too. <laughs> Smooth. Smooth G Rack. Aw, oh, Comet. And commentary about the comment. Oh no! Burder, burder, burr. Now he will betray me. Maybe I can save now. I hope I get to save the game. That would be horrible. Good morning, baby boy. Sorry if this noise woke you. I'm an early riser myself, and I can't help but start pot coffee. I'll bring you some. Sweet. This guy is really nice. Because he's your father. I feel better. G-Rag doesn't seem to have much at ah, yeah, sure. Music to his ears. In ancient Rome, they'd call that tabula rasa, a scraped tablet or a blank slate. Baby boy. Oh, so the story today will be written on my actions from now on? Do I not get judged? What about it? It's an awful long way to travel from Dubston, don't you think? It's important to me, but I guess. Hey, what? I didn't... I made a promise that I'd do anything for you, so you don't need to explain to me none. San Fernando means something else, but you gotta know what that is. All I'm saying is that I want you to be sure of the direction we're going and the reasons for it. Am I sure of why I'm going to San Fernando? I have no clue why G-Reg wants to go so badly. That's a long way to come without a clue. Don't worry about it, though. Things will make themselves clear to you in time. Hopefully sooner rather than later, just follow your gut. Things will be fine. Speaking of San Fernando, how are we getting there anyway? No offense, but this trailer doesn't look like it's too road-ready. Nah, you're right. The old gypsy's gotten a little fat in her old age. She's not too fit on a road trip these days. We'll be riding something a heck of a lot more stylish. I've got one heavy vehicle. You're gonna love it, baby boy. It's the fastest, shiniest, most reliable hot rod you've ever seen. Got a convertible? You bet we do. If we can get the keys back. Dun dun! What do you mean? Well, a couple months ago, I got impounded at uh, Mechanic Stands. It's the garage and scrapyard across the way, but I'm sure it's nothing a simple conversation can't solve. In fact, why don't you finish up that coffee and meet me there? I'll definitely do that. No sense of putting off any longer, I suppose, right? I guess not. Alright, sure. And, oh uh, yay, I can save now! Alright. Uh, I'll load a different save. Save five. Okay. Thank you, guys, for watching that. Sincerely. <laughs>